David Azovia, oh, yeah. my man of the match today. How did Cheers. that feel? Really good. First half, I feel like we need to start more games like that. You know, just on the front foot, nice and clinical in front of goal. So it was good. First half was great. Foot. Second half, we got to work on that. That's the story of our season, but we've got to keep going. You know, it was a good, good just, performance from the team. Just remember the first 30 minutes, I think, and keep replicating exactly that. Exactly that. Exactly that. Um, what made the difference to you today? I think against Hive we were a bit unlucky. We had a lot of chances, they didn't have as many, so I think it was a thing where today we just took them. Yeah. We just took them and kept building on it. I think we didn't sat, like we didn't settle for just one goal, two goals, three goals, like we wanted more. So I think that was the difference today, just the energy and the charisma it took. It was good. Yeah, and uh, you nearly scored, didn't you? Almost, we, we, we almost. Were, we were all shouting, shoot, shoot, and you, yeah. you did. You <laughs> I didn't know. run far away, were you? No, not, not at all, but we'll get one. Yeah. Soon, sooner or later, sooner or later we'll get one. Nice one then. Only a very short period until Monday. Yeah. How do you feel about home by? Need to get a win there to be fair. I think everything aside, I think we need to build on this win today. Yeah. You know, um it'll be a good challenge a good challenge for us. But I think we're more than capable of doing that. Good. Yeah. Happy New Year, David, and Happy really New Year well to you. played today. Thank you very much. Thanks, mate. Tommy, that must feel a bit better. Yeah, it does. I mean obviously losing four on the mounts, it was important at some point we started putting points on the board. Um, so getting getting a win today, if I'm honest, was a um, was a was a relief, if I'm honest. Yeah, and that first half hour, uh, we just steamrolled. Yeah, we. I thought what was much improved today than in previous weeks is we had a ruthlessness in front of goal. Uh, I think that has been missing. You yeah. know, certainly in the Hive game, it was missing. Yeah. Um, and. And, and in, in other games we've played this season, we've had real good spells in games or real good halves and and not scored. Yeah. But today there was a ruthlessness. Danny took his goal well, Vance took his goal very well. Um, and it sets you in good stead, you know, because in, instead of going in like nil-nil or one-nil up, you're four-nil up and it gives yourself a huge, huge chance to go and kick on and get the three points. Yeah, I mean, you hit on the head. It was just clinical, the finishing. It was. It? And as I say, that, has, that was a difference in that first 45 minutes to in, in certain games we've played this year. Um, I thought Danny was getting that first 15 minutes. Danny was getting a lot of space out on the left. Yeah. Um, and we capitalised on that. They changed their shape slightly after about 15 minutes, which means he wasn't getting as much of the ball. But we couldn't get to the ball to him as easy. Yeah. Um, but, you know, where, where we had that period of game where he was free a lot, yeah. we, we, we made... Uh, we capitalised on it. And fair, fair play to them second half. I mean, they, they upped their game. They did. Um, they did. Um, oh, you know, I don't want to be ultra critical because we've lost four on the bounce and we need the win. We've scored four goals, so there's bundles and bundles of positive that's come out of today. But I thought we was flat in the second half. I thought yeah. we give the ball away too cheaply. We was careless. We were sloppy, and maybe the score line reflected some of the lads' performances. If it's one or two nil, maybe they're not sloppy, if you like, mm. in the second half. But look, today it was all about getting the three points, and we've done that. And there was some superb performances out there. My man of the match was uh, David Zobia. I thought he yeah, no, D David's getting a little run in the team. Yeah. You know, it took a while, but he's getting a little run in the team now. I also thought Tariq was brilliant at right back. I thought he was really good. He was aggressive today. He was on the front foot. So, And Harvey never seems to put a foot wrong. No, he doesn't. You know, Harvey's arguably consistently been right up there in terms of our best player. Um, he's played right back base of midfield where at the minute we're playing a little bit higher up where mm. we've got a lot of injuries uh, and wherever you seem to play him he seems to be one of the better players on the pitch and that's credit to him and did you tell Ryle to get into the box more because he's way more threatening now he's getting yeah in the box. well obviously you know we've, he's playing alongside David at the minute David very much is comfortable sitting yeah. um, so that may be with, with, with that relationship in there and David naturally sitting it may be giving Ryle a little bit more 
um, encouragement or confidence just to go and join in a bit more. Yeah, no, not long to go now till Monday. It's a hard ask on semi-professional footballers to do Yeah, it, it? it is. So, did we take any knocks out there today that you're uh, well, concerned about? Well, well, Ben had to come off, yeah. so we'll have to assess Ben. Um, we're hoping that Noah is available for selection. Yeah. We're hoping that Anthony Edgar has got a chance to play some part. Um, it's a shame Anthony got an injury because I actually thought he played very well against Hive. Um, he was sort of getting back to, to, to how he was, you know, he's performed um, when I'd been with him previously at Cray. I thought he was very create, creative for us again yeah. in, in that Hive game. But hopefully he'd be available for some minutes and we're, we're we'll after to see with Drake because I think he'd done the warm up today and it wasn't as good as he thought it was going to oh, be. Okay. Um, so that's probably one we'll have to assess Monday morning. And Tom Carl, yeah, Tom that. wasn't available today, um, but I mean he, he's actually got a got a knock anyway. Tom in the Phoenix game, yeah. um, he went over on his ankle. Yeah, it looks like his ligament. So. Um, if, you know, Tom wouldn't be available for the next two or three weeks anyway. Oh, okay, okay. Well, Happy New Year. Yep. See you again on Monday. Yes. It's going to be a really tough game. It is, really yeah. important one. Yeah, but it should be a good game, you know, yeah. so I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, thanks for talking yeah, to us. No tonight. worries. Well Cheers for that.